Hey Leo, Alice here and welcome to your October 2023 monthly reading. So we're just going to check in on the energies, uh, what, it ha what it has to do with your love life and who's coming towards you. Could be a past, current, or future person. Uh, we're, we're going to use oracle cards, which I've already pre-shuffled because it's boring to watch me shuffle over 10 minutes, to be honest. Um, and then we'll go into tarot and see what's going on there, energetically speaking. Um, this is for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. Or if you were just drawn to this reading for any reason, there could be a message in here for you as well. You can cross-watch if that is your prerogative. Uh, just reverse the energies. Energies can be reversed either way. Um, keep in mind, this is a general reading, so not everything may apply to your specific situation. Take what resonates, leave what doesn't, don't try to force it. It can be somebody else's story, um, not yours. Uh, if you are interested in personal readings uh, from me, you can check out my Etsy shop. All the information is there if that's something that you're curious about. Um, but yeah, anyways, that's it. Um, we're going to get into it. Um, also these readings are timeless. It doesn't matter when you find it. I just did them in October. That's why it's October. I feel for most people, yeah, October, fine, but, um, you can watch these at any time. Okay. So let's see what's going on here. Um, the energy that is coming towards you. We'll see what's happening here. So we have soon, something is happening sooner than you expect. When I put this down, like when I was shuffling, um, the song, I don't normally, I don't always get songs. Sometimes I do. Um, How Soon Is Now from the Smiths popped into my brain. Um, mostly it was related to Charmed, <laughs> that show on the WB. Um, that was the theme song, right? Uh, but also the craft also came up too. Very popular song um, in the like late 90s, early 2000s for like any sort of witchy type of show, <laughs> I guess, or movie um, there. But um, yeah, that there could be some messages in that song, to be honest. Um, yeah, especially like I'm getting, you know, the first sort of verse... Oh, I am the sun and the air of a shyness that is criminally vulgar. I am the sun and air, nothing in particular. Oh, shut your mouth, how can you say? I go about things the wrong way. I am human and I need to be loved. Just like everybody else does. I feel like this person, just from that and from as I was putting down like shuffling and everything and that song was in my head I feel like this person is pretty shy normally they're pretty shy non-confrontational very passive maybe a pacifist somebody who doesn't get into many fights here um I feel like this person is changing um perhaps they're changing that about themselves here I do get there is a loner type of energy with the little lone with the little wolf girl I was gonna say little lone wolf girl yeah lone wolf little wolf girl here it says it's all right to be alone I feel like this person when they go through changes like significant changes um within themselves they do it on their own it's not in front of people they don't share about it they don't talk to people about it I mean you can see it I don't think they hide it but they're not super open about it you know what I mean like um like for instance let's say if <laughs> I'm just giving you an example I'm not saying this is what it is but like so let's say somebody who um wants to be healthier and so they start working out more eating healthier and all that they just do it on their own um they don't like post on social media like you know I'm doing my workout today you know today's leg day you know they don't do that they don't like you know post pictures of their like look at my vegan gluten-free low-carb no sugar meals no they don't post that shit either um 
they don't they don't make a show of it um but you know when they when you go out to like eat with them and stuff you notice that they're eating healthier um or if you're around and like you say hey like do you want to go out like do you want to hang out and they go oh i can't right now but you know after i'm gonna do my workout and then after then yeah it's things like that like they they'll mention it but they won't like it's not something like th that they're bragging about or anything like that. Um, I'm just giving that as an example. I don't know what it is, okay? I don't know specifically, like, what is changing with them, but that's just kind of how they're sort of vibing with it because I do feel there's some sort of healing happening here. I do feel whatever it is that they're doing, um, they're getting their act together. I'm getting, like, they're cleaning up their act and however that means, um... <laughs> there um fairy of the highlands it's time to be brave again i feel like this person is usually non-confrontational no um they kind of sit on the sidelines they kind of just let life pass them by and i feel like now they're changing that they're not letting life pass them by as much they're maybe being more of an active participant in it um something like that like just having more bravery or trying to be more brave having more courage here um i do feel they've had to take a look at themselves um in the mirror i think that people thought that they were like self-absorbed that they were maybe a narcissist or that they only cared about themselves very selfish i think that's how people thought they they were because this is somebody who's very standoffish kind of awkward and I think that the impression that they gave people was that either they didn't care about things or that they just only cared about themselves. Um, I don't think this person is actually that arrogant. I just think that they're not very open. I think this person keeps a lot to themselves. I'm getting like very strong Scorpio energy like as I was putting all this down I'm like this feels very much like Scorpio energy so they might have a lot of Scorpio placements or strong Scorpio placements in their chart um I know there's nothing here to indicate that but it's just as I was putting the cards down I'm like this feels very Scorpio especially when I got to the panther I'm like yeah I don't know this person I, I wouldn't be surprised um I do feel like this person it's like they're mysterious, but I don't think they mean to be. I just think this person just kind of keeps things to themselves. Like, they're very low-key, I get, here. Um, I think that also has gotten them into hot water a few times, um, where they've had to apologize for just the way that they are. I think that, um, yeah, that maybe they've seen very standoffish or apathetic or something along those lines, especially with their family and friends. I feel it's more about their family and friends that they feel maybe they, they've had to apologize or they feel they owe an apology to. Um, here, maybe they're like, you know, I wasn't really doing anything. Um, I just feel like this is somebody who wasn't doing anything for themselves. They weren't really helping themselves and they weren't helping the people around them. But I feel like that's changing here. I feel like, I don't know what happened. Um, because I guess something must have happened or something. Um, they got some sort of idea here because I get somebody who really does want to change with Driven here. Somebody here who, um is trying to be better. I don't know exactly where the source of this is from, but yeah, I, I feel for you, um, I think soon you will see this in this person, um, if you haven't seen it already, but I feel soon you're going, you, you may notice um, this about them or you just might soon notice that this person they're not necessarily a narcissist they're not necessarily arrogant they're just you know you know big introverted vibes here they're just somebody who keeps things to themselves somebody who doesn't like confrontation or doesn't um who <laughs> it's, just, it's not even that they don't like confrontation i mean it just can be that maybe they feel it's not worth it um or they're just you know on the shire um aspect here um something like that i think that 
I think they're very good at hiding it. And maybe you might start to see it. Because it's not that they, again, it's not that they hide it. It's just they're, they're not an open book. So it just gets hidden. You know what I mean? Like, I don't think it's on purpose that they hide things. It's just they're not very open. It's like the opposite of Leo, right? I think a lot of Leos are very out there. And they have no problem being out there, being the center of attention. You know, showing this is who I am and letting people know who you are kind of thing. Um, this is like complete opposite of that. They're not like that at all. They don't really, I don't think this person really cares, you know, how people see them. They're just going to exist and do their own thing here. Okay. All right. Let's get into tarot. Um, let's see what's going on. What's their energy like towards you? suddenly I don't know what that's about there could have been some sort of sacrifice on some person's side either theirs or yours ten pentacles hmm. I think it was on their side I think they might have spoken up about something, but we'll see. Because I'm getting somebody who's who was quite brave towards you and this connection. Uh, there could have been other connections involved, other people involved. Sorry, uh, I need to pick up the stupid card. I raised like my seat, like my chair, and so now whenever a card falls, like my arms aren't long enough. That's why I'm always struggling to grab the cards when they fall, because uh, I'm up higher. Uh, okay, um, I need to clarify a lot of this to be honest, because it's very vague. I, I'm going to be honest with you. It's very vague. I mean, what I can tell you is this person has gotten some sort of bravery up towards you. Um, maybe they spoke up about other connections. I don't know if these are on your side or their side. Um, there are other connections involved. I, I feel like with the sort of truth here, I feel like they spoke up for themselves here. Um, in the Eight of Cups. Trying to let something go. Uh, okay, I need to know more. I don't know if there was like a conflict or not, or if this was a fight, but something came crashing down here between the two of you, or at least they feel that way. They feel like something, something that has been long standing between the two of you. It could have been like you had like a, a connection, some sort of relationship here that you've had for a while. Something about it has come crashing down. At least from their point of view. Why is the tower? Yeah, I think there was an argument. There was a fight here. And the Nine of Cups is also showing up. And the Six. It's like about, um... Well, I don't know about, but somebody... It's like they, they didn't see eye to eye on what you liked and what they liked. Um, so what was going on in this connection, this relationship, you know, they had their needs and you have your needs and they just weren't matching up. And I feel that's what this blow up is about. There could have been some stuff from the past. I don't, you know, it could be the past between the both of you, like your history together, or it can be stuff from their past um, coming up here as well. Things that maybe haunt them. Things that haunt you. 
I do feel it's probably from your shared past, though. Knight of Wands, Ten of Pentacles again. I think one of you, it could, it probably was this person, but I'm not sure. Somebody wanted Ten Pentacles. Ten Pentacles is like end game type of energy. You know, I want to feel comfortable in our relationship. This is like, you know, a relationship that lasts a long time. It's been going on for a long time. You know, it can be like best friends type of energy. You're like family to me. Um, it can also be having a family as well. It's relationship goals. And somebody was very focused on that. I feel like they were focused on whatever relationship goals mean to them. And that is why they they got the bravery to speak up and say something. Because I feel like you have different needs. They have their needs and you have your needs. And I don't think they were matching. It could be different love languages as well. Yeah. Yeah, this person felt... No, free, like more, more free, more independent here, um, that they needed to speak up about this mm -hmm. in order for their own sanity. Why is the seven of cups here? Yeah, they wanted an end to some sort of, something that was confusing them. Like I said, it could be other connections. There could have been other people involved. Maybe that was confusing them. They wanted more clarity on that. Um, I'm getting... Like, this is very specific. Um, if you have friends or they had friends that are of the sort of same gender as you or whatever your, whatever your sexual preference is, they have friends of that. So, like, if you're, I'll just give you an example. If you're a woman and they're a man, then they have, and, and you're attracted to and them and they're attracted to, yeah. How do I? Okay. <laughs> okay. If, if if this is like okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna put it in hetero terms, but you know, if that's not your story, you know, you'll fix it, okay? Because I'm not gonna sit here and give every every scenario, but like, so, like, they have friends that maybe you were worried about, kind of thing. So like, if they're a guy and they have uh, female friends here it's like okay i want to be clear i, I want to make that clear what are they what are they who are these who are these friends that's what i'm getting here or for them it's more on their side to be honest but like if the, if you had a bunch of guy friends they you know it's like almost they want to put an end to that not necessarily that you don't have to be friends with them but they just want to be very clear you know they want it to be very clear who are these people you know i want an end to this you know i don't want to have to deal with this shit anymore who are these people they make me uncomfortable or something like that. What is the Eight of Cups here? Dude, something. Yeah. Yeah. This is something that is, I think it's either with their past or your past. I think it's with both your past here. With the Seven of Wands. I think that they felt this way before. And the Hermit. Yeah. They've thought about this before. I think in the past they've tried to like, you know, deal with it themselves. But I think now they want to speak up about it they found the bravery because it's affecting like them it's affecting how they feel in their life and it's just like you know for my own sanity it's like i need to speak up about this here they could have had an issue in their past um where maybe they got cheated on or whatever but i'm not gonna lie and i'm not trying to point any fingers or anything but i feel like this is something that is between the two of you there's some sort of history here where I, I don't I don't know if anything happened between you and somebody else but maybe they thought there there was or maybe there was a thing where maybe one of your friends you know told them that you know they were attracted to you or whatever like something along those lines like I'm not getting like super jealous vibes here I'm just getting like different wants and needs here and they're not gelling okay all right, let's see. How are they thinking and, and feeling towards you? How's this person thinking and feeling towards you? Excuse me. 
excuse me, not like 20,000 cards. Four of Wands. Well, they're thinking about some, they're thinking about the tower. I'll, I'll put it that way. They're, they're thinking about this fight or argument that you've had. They're thinking about that event. They could be thinking about what, what they're going to do as well. Yeah, <laughs> thinking about what they're going to do, what they're going to say. Um, they feel they need to do something here, I feel. Yeah, <laughs> oh my gosh. Lots of fiery energy. Ooh, this person might be kind of pissed off. There's a lot of fire energy or annoyed, frustrated here. Mm. Why are all these people showing up? Yeah, look at all the people. They could be talking to their friends about this, about you, about this connection. Uh, cause there's a lot of people involved here. Um, like there's just a lot of people here. Page of Wands, Queen of Wands, Knight of Cups, King of Cups. I don't know what, I mean, this can be them too, but <laughs> it's a lot, yeah, Scorpio energy, Scorpio, um, Pisces, Aries, um, Leo, Sag as well, showing up here. They can have all of those in their chart, um, here, your energy showed up here again with Leo. Aries. Okay, um. Yeah, this person is still fuming over some sort of blow up that you guys had. Whatever this tower is, whatever this argument or, like I said, fight here, this person's still fuming, thinking, feeling it right now, frustrated about it here. Um, I do feel they still care about you. Um, they still have a lot of love here for you. <laughs> it's one of those like, you know, I love you, but I don't have to like you right now <laughs> type of energy. Um, cause it's at the end here. So I feel like eventually, like once this all sort of dies down, the fiery energy here, you know, they're going to want to say something more calmly. I feel like this person just needs to vent. They need to vent and they need to get like this sort of fiery energy out of them. And then, you know, they can think about how to approach you in a calmer way, you know, and on a more um, emotionally stable way here. So, okay. Let's clarify. Yeah, they're trying to like um think about what happened like they're just they're, they just need a break they just need a break they just need to get away from it for a little bit here mm -hmm. get some perspective for themselves yeah they might be talking to somebody here trying to get some advice here i feel there's a sort of a chatty energy here chatty chatty energy here high priestess high priestess and the hierophant divine spiritual couple here um they could actually if they're into tarot and all that they could be pulling tarot cards about this or meditating um about it like talking to their higher self talking to god um talking to some sort of you know spiritual and you know whatever it is that they're into um, or what they believe, uh, talking to angels or something along those lines, looking for some sort of guidance. They could be looking for some sort of spiritual guidance here as well. If they are religious or spiritual. Yeah, they're just frustrated. They don't really have a direction for this frustration. They're just trying to get it out here. Um, it's like just waiting for it to sort of dissipate, um, here. Yeah. 
Yeah, I just see somebody who's just trying to wait for it to dissipate, you know, getting it out in their own way. It, it's a little childish, um, but it's kind of like a temper tantrum. So I'm just like, I'm just going to let get this frustration out, vent it out here. Just wait till it's done. Why is the Knight of Cups? Knight of Swords, Seven of Cups, the Empress. Yeah, I, like I said, um, they still, like, they have feelings here towards you. They care about you. And once the sort of venting has dissipated here, it's like they feel like they want to, or they feel like they should say something. I should put it that way. They feel like they should tell you, you know, about this, about the Seven of Cups, about, you know, anything that has been confusing or anything that you are confused about here, there's that maturity that's coming in here. It's like they want to express to you how they feel so you better understand, you know, where they're coming from. They want you to know where they're coming from. So they feel like they should tell you where I'm coming from here. And we have the Empress energy here. It's, it is a very um, nurturing type of energy, but like... Like they want things to move forward, right? They want things to grow here. They don't want things to become stagnant is what I'm getting. So yeah, they they will, like they do feel like they should tell you where they're coming from, why this bothers them so much, why the, you know, from their feelings, you know, how I feel about this, how I feel about, you know, all these different options, all these different people. And mm -hmm. why is the King of Cups here? Yeah, I do feel like this person has a very good understanding of their emotions. Mm -hmm. The Empress and the Six of Pumpkins. Six of Pentacles. Um, I, I feel like this person does want to offer that to you. You know, they do want to show you that, um, you know, I can be mature. I can be mature about this. You know, even if you had a fight and all that and it was like, what the fuck? Um they they feel like they need to show you this um because they do have a handle on their emotions they they feel like you know they're in control of their emotions here they're not letting things bother them to that degree i mean but we all have emotions we all get upset right we all get frustrated and but i do feel like this person's handling it in a good way you know they're taking a step back here now energies can be reversed this can be you this can be just how they're observing you, um, if it's not them. Okay. It's weird because a lot of this, I, I know I said they're feeling their thoughts and feelings, but it's a lot of kind of like, like, yes, they're feeling this way, but it's also things that are happening, at least. That's just strange. Okay, let's see what are their likely next actions towards you. Of course, I can't tell you exactly what somebody will do, um, but because we all have free will, but we can see what are they likely to do. And then we'll get to some spiritual guidance. Two of Wands, um, the Hermit, mm, Five of Pentacles, eh. Yeah, like I said, this person is it feels very introverted. Yeah. And the three of swords. I feel like they're going to lick their wounds here more than likely. I mean, it's up to them, the two of wands. It's up to them what they want to choose here. But I do feel they're more likely to choose to be alone right now with the hermit and the five of pentacles to be alone. I feel like this person's quite sensitive. That's why I'm like, I feel like strong Scorpio vibes. Not saying that all Scorpios are sensitive. It's just they feel emotions very intensely. And I feel like this person takes a step away when they feel things very intensely to, you know, be on their own here and reflect on those feelings. They could be, honestly, I'm not even gonna lie, they could be some sort of like you know, songwriter, poet, um, somebody creative as well, that they take the, they take all these emotions and they channel it through, um, their, their creative endeavors, whether it's through making music, um, or painting, drawing, uh, poems, writing lyrics, sound, something along those lines. I'm feeling more drawn to the musician part. 
because with the song at the beginning and everything so i you know it was very specific though but yes this is somebody this is how they heal this is how they heal their wounds when they've been hurt you know they take some time to themselves they they block people like stay away from me um this seems to be the most likely course of action that they are taking but everybody has free will they don't have to they might not they might not okay um let's get you some spiritual guidance here use the moon the moonology deck We have the new moon a new start is coming yeah i feel like something soon 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 you might hear from this person soon or you might hear something about them soon or you might come to some sort of conclusion soon um here about this whole thing so let's see um i'm not going to read you the whole thing it's just anything that pops out here um if you have a question if you were thinking about something answer is yes that's a yes card just letting you know um it's very this is very nice for you um here as well now i do feel some of the spiritual guidance here is that um it it's a little bit like let's let, let's turn over a new leaf kind of thing you know let the past stay in the past and let's just start anew here you know start new there's 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 something new and um positive here on the horizon here that's coming so it's like kind of like let bygones be bygones perhaps um take it as it resonates i i don't feel like i feel like the outcome for you is whatever that means like whatever it is that you do isn't going to be bad so it is a positive um auspicious energy here so you know wherever you're starting you know even if you have to start over you know it's not going to be bad for you um uh, whether you start over with this person or you start over in your life on you know a new here i feel like something something new is coming in for you whether it's with this person or with somebody else, okay? It's just time to wipe the slate clean. And, you know, if the situation's too toxic and you leave it, then you have something new and fresh that's coming towards you. Um, if, if there's something to be done here, then perhaps something new and fresh is happening here as well, okay? All right, so that's where I'm going to leave this for you, Leo. So thanks for watching. Um, if you enjoyed this reading, I appreciate it. If you could like, share, or subscribe, it helps me do more with the channel. And I appreciate any support that um, anybody gives me, no matter how big or small. Um, but yeah, that's what I'm going to leave you with. You can always check out any of the other signs. There could be messages in there for you as well as they um, pop up <laughs> as I get through them. Um, but yeah, I... I hope that you have a good day or good night wherever you are and you take care and good luck and I'll talk to you later.